Ben Stowe here to answer another one of your questions. Lots of viewers have been asking, what carries sound better, a column array or a point source box? Uh, now, there's lots of variables here. Not all point source boxes are created uh, alike, and certainly not all column array speakers are created alike. So uh, let's just treat this as kind of a, a general play day in the audio sandbox. So what we've got here is I've got an EV EKX 12P, uh, which is a 12-inch uh, two-way box, and then I've got an EV Evolve, which also has a 12-inch sub. So we'll make it a somewhat equitable pairing. And uh, we can see here I've got the uh, smart software suite where I'm going to be taking some looks at uh, decibel measurement, uh, real-time analyzer uh, spectral content, and also transfer function. So uh, to feed that, I've got two microphones here, one that is closer to the speakers and one that is further. So what we're going to be looking at here is differences uh, primarily in overall level, but also in the spectral content or you know the uh, audio frequencies from lowest to highest and how evenly those uh, are measured in both, both places. So that being said, uh, we're going to play some pink noise, which should be uh, kind of equal energy across the board. Uh, if that was reproduced perfectly, it would be a pretty flat line. Now, of course, uh, we're in a, a ballroom here, and nothing's going to be perfect about it. This is about as real world as it gets. So we're going to see uh, just what we get. Let's have some science. OK, so we've got our two microphones, one near to the speakers and one far. And I'm not sure exactly how far apart they are, uh, but the software can tell me. So just for fun, let's just take a measurement real quick and see how far apart our mics are. Uh, the software says our microphones are 43.97 feet apart. So uh, there you go. They, they are 43.97 feet apart, give or take. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, just take a quick uh, measurement here. And we're going to take a measurement from the two-way speaker. And we're going to measure it uh, max level at the near microphone and then at the far microphone. And then we'll do the same for the column array. We'll take a measurement at the near microphone and the far microphone. And we're just going to look for max SPL here. So let's take a look and see what we get. OK, starting off first with our EKX 12P loudspeaker. And I'm using unweighted settings, so there is no weighting applied to any of these measurements. And in the yellow content here, we can see the nearest mic to the speaker. And in the blue, we can see the furthest mic from the speaker. And we can see that it is fairly flat content. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take note of my maximum decibels measured on the far mic. And now we're going to take a decibel meter reading on the near mic. And we're going to take a max capture there as well. Now we're switching over to the column array. Here again we can see nice flat content. Uh, maybe even a little bit flatter than the two-way box, which is kind of what we'd expect from a column. Now, I can't stress enough that this is not scientific. This is not a scientific room, but we don't work in scientific rooms. Uh, and this is not laboratory-grade equipment, but this is going to give us a pretty good representation of what's going on. A uh, couple things to note. One of the things that is uh, really uh, beneficial about a column array is they tend to have very wide coverage. So whereas the coverage of the two-way box is about 90 degrees in the horizontal plane, the column array is about 120 degrees uh, in the horizontal plane. So much more left to right coverage. Uh, that being said, uh, and, there, and then we've done some shows on line arrays and that sort of thing. The number of drivers in an array dictates down to the, the frequency down to which it behaves like an array, and all kinds of fun physics things happen here. But here's the punchline. The, the level variation we measured as a broadband signal, and again, if we started slicing this into smaller frequencies, we could probably find some different variations, and we could, we could make this video about six weeks long. But as a broadband signal, the max dB variation between the near mic and the far mic for the column array was 3.1 dB, and the level variation for the two-way speaker was 2.1 dB, which is almost completely inconsequential, to be honest with you. There isn't anybody out there that can hear a 1 dB difference. I don't care who you are. Uh, and so what we see here is that over this distance, virtually no difference. The Evolve uh, column was a little bit smoother in its overall frequency response, but again, things that we have to think about here are the room and how the room plays into that. 
uh, and also some other things. For example, uh, being able to get that two-way top up a little bit higher and maybe angling it down would give you a little bit better front to back coverage. Uh, same thing, of course, getting the Evolve up just a little bit higher uh, is gonna help you uh, carry that over people's heads. Sound doesn't go through people very well, particularly high frequencies. So, the moral of the story uh, is we just want an excuse to come out and play in our little uh, audio playground here today and uh, give you some real world science, taking a look at some uh, calibrated measurement instruments. And we can see that over this distance and that difference, very limited. Maybe someday we'll try a little bit further away uh, just for fun. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll get our nerd on again.